So we're finally in the last month of the year, 2019. I know this is a big reflective period for people. And guess what? It's gonna be no different on this channel. Maybe a little bit different because I'm just going to address some simple things that can probably get away in our spending that can alter, well, everything, including us being able to buy sneakers. So I guess let's start off with the first video of the month of this type. How much did you spend on eating out this year? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ two shoes change two shoes crew what is going on thank you so much for tuning in to this video if you're subscribed let's just go ahead and rock with each other in the comment section I will try to not keep you guys long I know we are all very very busy this time of the year I myself on this day it is the follow-up appointment the finish the final appointment for my microblading for my brow so ladies understand what I mean if you have this done you have your initial appointment and the brows as they're healing they fade it really allows the technician to see how they healed and then what little final touches need to be made and then you go through for your second pass so that's exactly what I'm doing when you guys are viewing this video and hopefully you like the little fun shirt that I chose to wear today it does say body by pizza now I get it you're gonna say hey it doesn't look like you eat pizza burgers fries whatsoever look Let's just dead that right now. I'm a person that still enjoys life. I understand that all those things are no, they're not healthy for you. But you know, I, I think I think moderation is smart. That I had a number of years in my life where I ate really, really, really healthy. And you know what? That consistency allows me now to be able to indulge in some things with some sense and pretty good portion control and still enjoy them while also still keeping the physique that I want. So yes, in the thumbnail, you see the full flex for body by pizza. I'm actually really small right now because the brows kind of make it hard for you to work out because you can't sweat in your face. All right, TMI, because I know you guys don't care about that. But for this video, I'm just gonna touch on real quick some reflection. So I think we all do have to reflect on certain things at the end of the year, especially when it comes to finances. Now, I'll just be honest with you. 2019 threw me for a whirl, wasn't the most happy about it. I had a lot of great things happen, but I had some things that uh, caused me to have to use all of the prowess of my uh, financial abilities, which is just a pain in the butt. It becomes stressful. So then I know a lot of you, whether you're students, whether you are just starting out in life, whether you're a student really getting into the real world with your first big girl, big boy job, trying to get those finances in order, trying to get everything really in place, whether it's a bigger savings, whether it's a bigger debt payoff, payments that you're trying to make. It doesn't happen right when we want it to. Okay, that's fine. We're all gonna get in a better place come 2020. But in this year, how much did you actually spend on eating out? And I don't need you to put a real number below. I mean, I know some of you will say, hey, I spend zero because I don't eat out. Bravo for you, but I do eat out. I actually do indulge in pizza every single week. Now, I haven't, ever actually had the chance to enjoy like real Chicago style pizza. So that is something that I need to do. I know I'm missing out on life, but that is something that I need to do. But I do indulge in pizza every single week. And just a caveat, listen, pizza is one of those things where you can buy and continue to snack on throughout the weekend and it saves you some money. So there you go. I will indulge in pizza. Qdoba is another favorite of mine. And I used to be someone that went there once a week. But when you start to break that down, if you get a meal at Qdoba, so I'm getting a burrito, and if I'm getting a drink, that alone is what, nine to $10? Usually it's about $10 here where I live. And so if you're not aware of that, you're spending $10 every single week, well, that's $40. Now, $40, let's just look at that in terms of huh, sneakers, because that's what we like to tie everything back to, right? So this bad boy here, we know that it is coming out on December 14th. I was blessed enough to hit on the shock drop on sneakers app. Why did I go for it? Again, it's a quick strike. I don't get a discount even working at Kids Foot Locker for this. So this is the grade school version, hence the like lower style patent leather. Men, you will have the higher style. Congratulations, you get everything in life. <laughs> so this is the coveted Jordan 11 that is coming out this holiday season. Men, you are gonna have to pay that high 220 price point plus tax. So. I don't know where you are. You could be looking at a $240 bill. Now, some of you want to double up on this sneaker. 
Awesome, now we're jumping into like the $480 range. But guess what? If you cut back on one meal eating out every single week, or not even every week, but just four weeks out of a month, because we do know that there are some months in the year, usually what, three to four, where they have five weeks. So let's just say you save $40 a month by eating out one less time per week. Now for me, that is absolutely possible. It just takes me not going to Qdoba every Thursday like I used to do to the point where they knew my order coming in and it was multiple employees that knew my order coming in. It probably says a lot about me, but if you just cut back on eating out, let's say one time during the week, so that $10 will add up over time and by time it is December, guess what? You're sitting on a nice, I don't know, 400, 480, which can easily allow you to double up if you are a guy anywhere from, you know, those men's sizes you guys gotta buy. Those price points are horrific. So it would allow you to easily pay for that and to not have to sacrifice or pretty much pull funds from anything else that you may want to do in December. December is a stressful time. You're trying to make sure that you get stuff for yourself, get sneakers for yourself, get sneakers for other people, do holidays, do travel. It is endless and it just goes on and on and on and I get it and listen. Just a thought, maybe reflect on how much you might've spent eating out. And that's something that gets away for a lot of people, not necessarily me so much, cause I'm, I'm usually pretty on point of how much I may spend on eating out. But for other people, I know that this is a category in their life of spending where it gets away from you. And before you know it, you've looked up. And if you actually look back on, let's say November, you spent a lot of money eating out that you could have, I don't know, spent less by eating at home, Preparing your meals at home is usually a lot more cost effective than going out to eat. We pay for the convenience, not necessarily just because we can't cook it ourselves. We pay for the convenience of it. But in paying for that convenience, you may have pretty much, I don't know, tricked yourself out of being able to get other things you really wanted to get. I get it. Times can be tough. Times can be tight. Doesn't mean that you can't get kicks. It just means you got to be smart about it. So hopefully you guys are able to reflect on how much you spent on eating out this year. Do you plan to try to do better in 2020? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. As always, peace.